First Peter chapter 5, First Peter chapter 5, we're going to look at verses 1 through 11. We're finishing up uh, this series on focuses for suffering believers. And I've entitled the message tonight, Directives That Strengthen the Church. In this passage of scripture, there are lots of directives um, when I say directives, I'm using that in contrast to suggestions. Uh, I'm using that in the, in the meaning of commands, uh, imperatives. Uh, Peter's pretty direct here. Uh, if you study the character of Peter, Peter's kind of always been direct. If not with his tongue, then with a sword on an ear, but Peter's always been direct. And uh, he's finishing up First Peter and writing to these believers and he gets pretty direct in the last chapter here. And I would like you to follow along as I read verse number 1 down through verse number 10. The Bible says, The elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of ready mind. Neither is being lords over God's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Notice in verse number 2 the imperative of feed, the imperative of taking. Now another imperative in verse number 5. Likewise, ye younger, submit. There's another imperative. Yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject. There's another imperative. One to another and be clothed with humility. There's another imperative. For God resisteth the proud and giveth.